and say we are the value for our kids' lives. Anything we can do to ensure that our kids are kept busy, we need to do it. I think $46,000, $8,000 is a small price. <laughs> up in the first place is that we were in the budget process and we knew that we had a pro uh, we had problems with the pool and it has taken quite a long time for us to get a valid diagnosis of what all is wrong with the pool and so that's who I was just on the phone with and you know if, if we didn't think we were dealing with a major budget issue we, we wouldn't be meeting we'd just be you know continuing to do the pool the, pro the change that we made this last year with the pool was managing it ourselves because we wanted to extend the hours, have it open in the evenings, have it open on weekends and things like that. And that was not part of what our agreement was when we had the contract with the YMCA to manage the pool. So our intention this year was to expand use of the pool. My name is Kathy Montana and I have 17 grandchildren that uses that pool every summer. Unfortunately, I'm not rich and I can't afford a pool, so they really need that pool in that community. I mean, y'all find money for everything else. All I can say is just find money to fix the pool. It's just a simple thing. We want our children to have easy access to a pool in the black community. We don't want to have to take a pool in the black community. You find out when you make a decision or say something and the public reacts, that's how we learn what's important to, to the people in the community. So we've, we've had the reaction, and now we're looking into what do we do and what can we find out. We talked about building a new pool and the recreation complex. We had talked about if we're going to build a new pool, can we fit it in at the recreation complex? Well, none of us are thinking anything more than the pool, except it's a place for kids to swim. We weren't thinking it, about it as the Reverend Peter Atkins pool and the location having meaning for people. We were just thinking, what a pool for kids to swim in. This is public funds. We, we, you know, we, gotta, we, we have to answer a whole lot of people about how, how we invest money. But we can't invest in any better place than children. And after school programs, that's another thing, is that I'm trying to find grant money and other sources because we need to build our own boys and girls club. We need our own building. We need to Thank you. 